I'm a strength Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain And you can be next You better give respect Cause ain't no Hello Game Trollers and welcome to a new video. It's been quite some time, um, mainly because first off my phone has just been trolling me super hard. <laughs> like it, it, it stopped charging for like a, a two weeks, then like the, the storage space on it just went nope and just like glitched out. It's hard to explain what happened, but yeah. Um, so, and, of course, the main problem, I just lost complete inspiration for the most part to make videos. But anyways, I'm back, and we're doing a little series of videos, uh, two to be exact. Uh, this one is just sort of like an extension of the next video coming up. So, yeah, and in this video, we'll be talking about Batman um, Arkham. What could happen after uh, Arkham Knight. So, of course, this is just one thing I'm not gonna be t I'm gonna be talking about post Arkham Knight I'm not gonna be talking about like post Arkham Origins like um before Arkham Asylum uh, after Arkham Origins all that kind of stuff that that is gonna be its own video on its own so I'm not gonna be able to do that for now but I have a s straight idea for what I think could they could do with a post Arkham game make it be well there's two options one just have a, just a separate game, really. Just have, like, a, just with a separate character. So have Rod, Rod, pff, Red Hood, there we go, Nightwing, Green Arrow, something like that, just, you know, post Arkham Knight. Or we could have a Battle for the Cowl storyline. Now, if you don't know what Battle of, uh, for the Cowl is, it's basically um, Jason and, t and uh, Dick fighting each other to uh, become Batman or whatever was going on in that. That's the basic gist form of it. And, of course, at the same time, uh, Tim Drake, who is Red Robin now, because Dick uh, got Damien to be uh, his Robin, so he pretty much just got rid of Tim Drake as Robin. And Tim Drake, I guess, is just... He, 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 some consider him the best Robin, and it just makes sense. So, technically, he's not going to leave being Robin, so he became Red Robin. Uh, and, basically, he spent most of his time uh, trying to find out if Batman is really dead or not, um, because... Uh, beforehand, it was a uh, fight against Darkseid, and uh, Darkseid used the Omega Beams and sent him back in time, but everybody thought he was dead, but Tim knew that something wasn't up, and he thought he was still alive, and he became Red Robin, started investigating, met with Booster Gold, Superman, they went in time chasing after Batman, uh, who is going through time, uh, and has lost most of his memory, but at some inter in some intervals, he remembers it, and then at the end of, uh, well, it, it's a completely different storyline. Uh, <laughs> there's Battle for the Cow, and then there's uh, Return of ba uh, Bruce Wayne. And at the end of Bruce Wayne, they find him and stop him from doing kind of crazy stuff. Y you're going to have to read it for yourself, um, or at least check the Wikipedia page, which is what I did. But, um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's the basic gist of Battle for the Cow, and it will work really well. I mean, Red Hood is already Red Hood. You have Nightwing, who's there? Um, Tim Drake, I it's sort of hard because um, after, well, not after, but at some point they released uh, challenge maps and uh, sm special stories, story modes, and stuff like little. So basically, challenge maps sort of with cutscenes and you know, like a proper transitions and all that kind of stuff for Red Hood, all these kinds of guys. Um, and the Tim Drake one, pretty much all of them, they it, it was like they just didn't care how Batman was dead, it felt like. They were just there doing their normal things and just remember, oh, Batman's saying, mm. like, it doesn't, like, it, they didn't show the emotion behind it. So it just feels like nobody cares. I mean, Alfred's not around, so, like, what are we going to do? So, um, how this could work is uh, it's set a few months afterwards and have this new... The grand threat come to Gotham. So like I don't know, Court of Owls, uh, Tobias Whale coming from Metropolis and stuff. Maybe just have a straight up supervillain for, for for another character. Like say I don't know, Lex just comes up. No, what, what, like a, a new villain. You can uh, talk about what villain you think could be in there in the comments or whatever. But uh, I'm not sure. Just any villain, any big time villain. Uh, but I'm not sure which one. 
this comes to Gotham and they need sort of like a new hero to take to help, right? So they get Lucius or like Jim. Well, as soon as Jim found out that um, Dick, well, Bruce was Batman, everybody pretty much found out that. So, um, like, Jim could go get Dick, tell him to become Batman, and Dick reluctantly, reluctantly becomes Batman and goes to fight this guy. But at the same time, Red Hood is coming up with all this, and he's trying to take this guy out too. And he has his own gang, and they're causing mischief all across the city and stuff. Um, basically trying to take over the crime. Just basically like in um, Under the Red Hood. And you have uh, Dick, who's trying to get rid of this main threat. And at the same time, have to deal with Red Hood and his gang. And of course, have some side ones here and there. And then we have uh, a secondary thing with Tim. Like, he's seeing all these reports about Batman still around, because at the end of Arkham Knight, if you get one, if you 100% the game, you have this, like, nightmare thing, where this, like, this demonic-looking Batman just goes on like, these muggers, who are mugging uh, some uh, some family that looked like Bruce Wayne and uh, his parents and all that. So, basically, it was almost like that, but instead, they, there was Batman who just pops up and... Bleh! I think what happens is, and I don't think anybody talks about this, I, what I think that causes is uh, the fear toxin, which was in Arkham Knight. Uh, by the way, spoilers, <laughs> I'm a bit late for that, but whatever. The fear toxin that they flooded um, the, uh, the city with, Scarecrow flooded the city with, is still here and there, it's still in little pools or whatever across the city. It's not completely drenched out uh, or whatever happened. <laughs> Um, so it's still around, sort of, but it's very minimal. So, like, in some places, the ferrotoxin still affects people. And the biggest fear of criminals in Gotham, which is pretty much Batman's plan, is Batman. So they see Batman through the fear thing. So I think that's what causes this, uh, the whole Batman still being around thing. But if Bruce is still actually alive and he's being Batman or whatever, Tim probably f catches wind of this and he's like... You know what, I think we should get Bruce, because uh, how are we going to handle this whole dick fighting Jason thing, you know, how are we going to do that? We need Bruce around, and apparently people are still saying Batman is still around. So, he becomes Red Robin, starts searching for this, while Barbara is like, no, we need to leave, live a peaceful life and all that kind of stuff. You know, being Barbara, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> like... I'm still kind of sad that they had Tim and Barbara together. I mean, seriously, what? <laughs> seriously, I don't get that at all, but whatever. So you just have Barbara who's just like, no, no, please stop. So, yeah, and then um, all this kind of stuff is happening. And basically, uh, Dick at some point recruits Damian Wayne, who I don't know how, maybe Nisa, like, manages to get Damian out. I don't know. Maybe Nisa gets Damien, or something like that, um, somehow, I don't know, because she's like the last member of the League of Assassins and stuff, so with Raish and Talia, then, who's that, who else is going to do it? I mean, Shiva, probably, she, Shiva probably took care of uh, of Damien throughout the entire thing, just so that Raish and Talia could just do their own thing, whatever, I don't know, but Shiva probably has Damien and brings him to... Um, Dick and tells him to take care of him or whatever. Because if you don't remember, in the comics, Shiva actually trained Tim Drake, so she can train uh, Damien at the same time, too. And considering he's not really, you know, like, it wasn't part of Batman's order, she doesn't have to train him not to kill and everything. And pretty much trains him to kill uh, because she's part of the League of Assassins or whatever. I think she's still part of the League of Assassins, but I can't remember. So she has Damien, and she brings Damien to Dick, and uh, he becomes the Robin to help Dick, the new Robin, because Tim was retired, uh, from what I heard. He was retired from being a Robin, so he gets a new Robin and does all the stuff, you know? And that's how I imagine it. It will play out. And so basically, you have your main character, who's Batman Dick Grayson, your sidekick, who's uh, Damien Wayne, who... I wish in uh, for this game they would have proper like sidekick stuff. So you know it's not just like 
uh, if this guy pops up here, or if he, this guy's part of this mission, you get to team up with him and fight everybody. Just have Damien be at your side at all times, or at least most of the time, you know, depending on what the story can do. So you have Damien there, and you as Dick Grayson start fighting, uh, and you and Damien start fighting with the whole dual play thing, but that this is basically almost all the time. So just have the dual play around pretty much all the time. And uh, that's your main thing. You start fighting thugs or whoever. And um, <clears throat> you have Tim Drake, who's your secondary hero, who at some points during the story, like if you finish a chapter, you have a little Tim Drake uh, thing where you get to play as him doing investigations and stuff and trying to figure out what's going on. So, yeah. That, and, of course, maybe, maybe have you play as Red Hood at some part. I don't know. Maybe have, like, the dual play with Red Hood. Who knows? Just like as a final boss, just you, Damien, Red Hood, Tim, um, fighting the final boss. I don't know who it could be. I really don't know because they did a, they used a, a lot of the uh, superheroes in well, the major superheroes in that. I mean, Bane. I think he they said he went back to Santa Prisca or whatever it is in Arkham. Um, yes, it's Santa Prisca. Uh, for me, but I can't remember what happened to him. Um, Mr. Freeze is sort of finalized. No more League of Assassins. Um, Court of Owls or Tobias Whale could work, but, like, they would have to really, really get Tobias up. Like, just make him into, like, a super version of King Thing, or whatever. So, so, yeah, wait up a second. Okay, I'm back. So, so, um... Yeah, so as I was saying, you'd have to make Tobias well into this, like, mega kingpin, like, kingpin from Marvel. Just turn him into that, basically, and just have him be, like, the super-powered version or whatever. I don't know how you could do that. I mean, like, it's not that many... I mean, Circus of Strange, a bunch of Grant Morrison things, like, Leviathan, not possible. Circus of, Circus of Strange, not possible. Like, a lot of Batman's villains sort of met their end in Arkham Knight, so who knows, like, just any villain, surprise us, surprise us, um, just uh, speculate about what villains you think could be in this sort of storyline, so basically a battle for a cow, and, but in the Arkhamverse, and have it work that way, um, so uh, there's, as I said, just the easy way of just having it be a Nightwing game, you're doing your own thing as Nightwing and Bloodhaven, and at some point you get into Gotham, or whatever, I don't know, have you have a Red Hood game that basically just gets rid of the whole Nightwing, the, all the battle for the cow stuff, and you just play as Red Hood. Um, so it's Green uh, Arrow. Keep it. Um, what's the word? Basic? No. Keep it. Like, don't have you play as a super powered character in the Arkham games. That's just not how it works. So, like, these kinds of characters, you know. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. The uh, next video will be me talking about uh, the upcoming superhero games and stuff like that. So hopefully uh, people will look forward to that. Um, which uh, In which I'll talk about... Mo uh, well, not, this is the video where I talk more in depth about this. But there's also a different uh, rumors going around. Like there's supposed to be a, a purely Damian Wayne game coming out. Not sure if it's based on Arkham or not. Then we have... <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Uh, then we have a Suicide Squad game that they're rumored and everything like that. So I'll talk more about those games in the uh, top 10 countdown video. Well, I'm not sure what how many of these I'll have. But anyways, the countdown video coming up later. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like and uh, subscribe. Uh, comment what you think, uh, what you think they could do with a post-Arkham game um batman beyond is also a thing they could do but I, I can't really see it i can't really see it um maybe have dick dress up in a batman beyond outfit like the batman beyond outfit from arkham knight maybe have him just dress up as that and just have it come full circle who knows but anyways as i said comment your opinions and everything i'll see you guys in the next video troll on it baby They wanna talk, shh, well what they talking about? I see them running their mouth, but they ain't talking a lot I'm taking over the game, now let me show you how I'm taking over the game, now let me show you how Take a look in my eyes
Got them shook with high rise. Got the game on lock. I came to the 